Welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to create NumPy arrays. So these are various methods which we can use for creating NumPy arrays. The first method is array, second is zeros, third is ones, and another is range. So we will study them one by one. So for creating NumPy array, we have to import the NumPy library first. So what we will do, we will write import NumPy as NP. NP is a alias to the NumPy library. Then I will create a list. I will explain you that why I'm going to uh, create a list for you. So I will create a list first and then I take another variable a double r it is just a variable you can name it anything so i will say np dot array and in that i will pass l as argument and then i will print this variable so when we run it it prints one two three i just wanted to see that what type of data is this so I just write type AR and press enter. It says NumPy and D array. So that is how we have created our one dimensional array. So it means that this argument has to be a list when you want to create an array. So what I can do, I can also straight away create the list over here. I can write over here various values. So that I can create array. So I just comment it and rerun it. Now we have created an array 12, 14, and 16. So this is the array. Similarly, this is a one-dimensional array as you can see. Okay. So if you want to create a two-dimensional array, I just give a method for that also. So what we need to do is we have to create a list of list okay so what i will do i will write some values here when i run it it is going to create a two dimensional array as you can see now how we can identify it in the two dimensional array it will start with two square brackets that means it is a two dimensional array so this is how we can create arrays also what we can do we can straight away copy this from here okay and paste here i don't require it anymore and run it same result is produced by using this particular method so here this is a very simple thing that for creating a uh, array from uh, using the array method you just have to provide a list over here okay so I, it can be a, a one dimensional list or a list of list if you provide list of list it will create a two dimensional array if you provide a simple list it will create a one dimensional array right so this is how we can use array method to create a list so there is another uh, one more variation here is if you want to create a list with float values because currently it is creating a list with only integer values so what you can do is you just have to say d type float that means I wanted the data type of this list as a float. So now you can observe there is a dot over there after every value that represents it is a it is a float value. If you put str, it will make them strings. So you can also use this d type to create a list of the type you want. So this is how we can create list using array method. Now we have another method to create zeros so what i will do i just remove it from here and what i will do i will say zeros 
and in the bracket I say 5. Now what this 5 will do? It will create an array of 5 values and all those values will be 0. And if I want D type i and t, so it will create a list of zeros of type integer. Similarly, yes, we can create a two dimensional array. So, what we need to do is we just need to put over here a tuple. So, I, what I will do, I will write 5, 4. If we use 5, 4, it has created a two dimensional array of 5 by 4. There are 5 rows and 4 columns. There is another method. We have once. So here also we can create a value with the once and we can write d type equals to integer. It will convert the values to integer. We can create five rows and six columns. So this is how you can create a two dimensional array. So we have learned about using array method right now after that we have learned about zeros and then ones now the last one is a range so i just wanted to clarify one more thing over here when why i'm going to use a range generally uh we make a mistake the english spelling of a range is a double r but here you have to use a and then a range so you can call it array range a for array and range so what we used to do is we just have to provide over here i say five let us see that what it do it has created i just comment it so i just run it and it says zero one two three four okay so that means it started from zero and went up till 4 if this 5 is not included this is the last value and total number of values are 5 now what we can do we can put it like this so what is it is going to do is 2 is the starting point and 5 is the end point which is not included okay so let us run it so it says 2 3 4 i can put it till 15 and run it it will produce me this values but what i want i just put it over here three so basically what it will do it will first of all print two and then two plus three that is five so what will be printed two and then five and then five plus three eight eight plus three eleven eleven plus three fourteen and fifteen is not included so let me run it so it says 2 then plus 3 5 plus 3 8 plus 3 11 plus 3 14 so these are the various methods which we can use so we have learned about creating arrays using array method zeros ones and arrange thanks for now see you in the next video